Really? Is that on purpose? What? Can you chew any louder? Thank you, babe. Mwah. T, you're six inches away from the sink. Jeez. Can you pass Mwah. my phone? It's scary. I swear you two have to be the biggest gossips in the world. Hey, babe. Everything okay? Stop that. Carrie? Okay, Carrie, stop crying and tell me what happened. I won't freak out, just... What? Carrie? Listen to me, okay? Put yourself together. I'll be with you shortly, okay? Oh, God. Hmm. What's going on? Please don't get mad at me. I tried to tell you. This has to do with Carrie, right? Remember the day that I went to the house to tell her about the online business and all? Mm -hmm. Toby was there. Which Toby? What are you talking about? Toby, Toby! He's back in Nigeria for good. And that's not it. I promise you won't freak out or tell Sam Can or... Can you just relax? Talk, please. She slept with him. Or at least that's what she said. I I'm trying not to freak out. So she slept with Toby. What kind of sick joke is this? You and Carrie need to stop these games, huh? T, believe me. Okay, I, I tried to tell you that Toby was back in town, but she made me promise not to say anything, so I let it rest, but she kissed him that day. Like, do you have any idea how serious this is? Do you know who Toby is? I know Toby is Cress, so an enemy. What do we do? Sam must not find out if he does, he'll hate us. What Look, do we do? Stop panicking, okay? This is what we're gonna do. No snitching. Those guys are like family to us, so we can't be the cause of any drama in their life. So go see Kerry, yeah? And I'm gonna go see Sam and make sure he doesn't hear the slightest about Toby, all right? I'll find Toby. But isn't that... Bad? Like, if Carrie knew you were cheating on me and then tell me, I'll kill her. But Literally. What are we supposed to do? Like, this is such a weird position to be in. And we wouldn't be here if you told me that Toby was in town to start with. I would have taken care of it from the start. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Surprise! Okay, what's going on here? We just got word that the first set of Crest mobile phones are sold out. What? <laughs> wow. To the dream team. To the dream, dream team. team. Let's go. Well done. All right, guys, listen up. First of all, well done. We've worked our asses off to get to where we are, mm -hmm. to achieve this milestone. Mm -hmm. And I'm always telling you that we are small, but together we are a force to reckon with. So let's go harder, starting now, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well in. Cyrus, I'm still waiting on that report, huh? Yeah, sure, sure. Cheers. <laughs> All right, guys, back to work, back to work, back to work. <laughs> now, Paris is surely in view. She will be so excited about this. <laughs> or... y you mean Carrie? Of course. Um, you don't seem put together. What's up? Me? <laughs> I'm, I'm great. <laughs> I'm super. <laughs> I, I mean, we just, you know, crossed a huge milestone. Uh, I'm, I'm great. <laughs> Shoot. Um, gosh, look at the time. I have another meeting I was supposed to attend. How come I don't know about this meeting? It's, it's not a crest thing. It's more of a personal thing. Yeah. Um, is there something I should know? Everyone around me is acting weird. What do you mean by that? Dede sends me a hug emoji on WhatsApp this morning saying I should have a lovely day. Uh, we have not spoken on WhatsApp in like two years. 
She's not a social network person. Everyone knows that Dede is a color tester. Well, maybe she started loving social networks. I mean, you know how... Kerry has been acting extra, extra nice. And you, my best friend, you are hiding something from me. What could I possibly be hiding from you? I don't know. You tell me. Are you saying that you don't trust me? Actually, you, you are the only person I, I trust that's back here. Um, but yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just, I'm just overthinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fine now, now. I'll see you later then. Yeah. Nice when we are meeting here. I wasn't thinking. Oh, where did this happen? His apartment. God, this is bad. This is real ugly. Stop saying that. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to make you feel better or worse. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. You have to tell him. What? That's the only reasonable thing I can think of. I mean, it would be worse if he finds out himself. I, I, I can't. I just can't. And I can't believe you'd think that, let alone suggest it. Well, from what I know and I've heard of Toby, he's a jerk. Why would you let him fool you now, after all these years, Carrie? But he made mistakes. Look, he's, he's a different person now. I don't love him. I don't feel nothing. I, I'm confused. I'm freaking out, Diddy. I'm okay. freaking out. All right, calm down. Let's think this through. I want more. I just want more. Carrie, things are finally starting to look up. I mean, he finally wants kids now, and... Why does it always have to be about him? That's an honest question. Can you answer that? I felt so alive when Toby touched me, when he kissed... Enough! Jeez, enough of this madness! Listen to yourself! Don't you yell at me. You know, maybe you're the one person I should be talking to about this. You just got married like what, yesterday? You know nothing, youngie. <gasps> you did not just call me a youngie. You know how much I hate that word. Well, I just called you a youngie. Youngie, youngie, youngie. You know what? You're clearly drunk. I'm leaving. Oh. Sounds like a great idea. Shut the door behind you. How did you find me? You're the last person I expected to see today. Care for a drink? She's married to our friend, Toby. <laughs> our friend? He married my girlfriend. You left. Let's not play pretend here. Yeah? You know that she loved me. She would have waited for me. Let me get this. You expected her to wait for you for all those years? Well, guess what? The world doesn't revolve around you, Toby. She moved on. But not with a man whom I used to call a friend. We rolled together, ate together. What do you think this is? A freaking telenovela? Cut the bullshit, Toby. This is about Sam. This is about how you were mad because we managed to get Crest running without you. But sleeping with his wife? That's just not right, man. Are you done? Yeah. But you know what? Leave her alone. And go back to that shithole where you came from. Okay? Are you really here because you care about your friend? Or are you just scared that your wife will be next? On my bed? I have no fear. She's not my type. Stay away from us, Toby. Guys, guys, 
Ah, look at smoke coming from his head. <laughs> so, what new idea have you thought about this time around? See, I need you guys to pause and listen. Mm -mm. There's nothing more important than this Agarium survey at this point. Sorry. I found the girl of my dreams. I found my wife. I I'm serious, guys. I saw her at the library, and when she was leaving, I followed her and got her number. I I'm marrying this girl. <laughs> 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 That's good. I was actually beginning to question your sexuality. This is the first time I'm hearing you talk about a girl. In fact, the only thing you used to talk about is your bright future. Girls are trouble, but this one, she is the future. Hmm? Our guy is in love. <laughs> can't you guys just be happy for a man when he finds a good thing? Huh? Well, we can't wait to meet this good thing. Mm hmm. I beg, give me some hey, magic. Hey, give, give me spoon now. You know, the boss, give me spoon, you know, the spoon now. Then now. Yeah. Give me Guy, look up. Huh? Guy, here they come. Hey. This still been a two coded guy, yo. The lady looks good. Proud of him, though. Mm. Guys, with Kerry, this is at main 100 level. Babe, with my douchebag friends. <laughs> I cross my as well. Hello. Hi. Hey. I, you see, this my guy is a great guy. <laughs> Don't mind all those small, small 400 level boys toasting you. True, he, he's a real deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Tell me we stop talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, you've been acting all weird since we submitted our project. What's up with you, man? Yeah, man. You've been avoiding everyone. Even Kerry thinks so. Look, you're our guy. If you need to talk, we got you. I got the London Business School scholarship. What? I have like a week. I've been trying to raise funds. <laughs> That's meant to be a joke, right? Y you got what? It, it just happened. Sorry. You're sorry? You're freaking sorry! Calm down. Relax, okay? Christ! Look, Toby, do you know what you're saying? I do. We agreed not to take that exam. You made us not take that exam. We agreed to form a company. We agreed. You don't freaking get it. This dude went behind our freaking backs. You won't start at the car business without me. I said nothing. I've always felt left out. I wanted to pursue something for myself. See, there's nothing for us in this country, nothing. We'll all be jobless after school with all these proposals. All our dreams will go to waste. We were supposed to do our own thing with Crest, Toby. Screw Crest! You both know that Crest has always been about you and Sam. You have never needed me. So, you made up your mind, huh? Things are going well. What can I say? So when are you leaving? I resume immediately. I've already gotten a leave of absence from graduation. And, um, Carrie? What about Carrie? Is she aware of this? I'll call her when I settle in. I'm sure she'll understand. Toby, if, if you have an ounce of decency, make sure you talk to that girl, because she loves you. She'll stop me. Don't you get it, Toby? No one can stop you. I mean, look how far you've come, huh? You're such a joke. Hey. <laughs> Sam, come take a look at this. Uh, guy, what's wrong? What if Toby was right? What if there's, there's nothing here for us? <laughs> I mean, this is like our 15th proposal. Which is why we need to keep on going. I mean, we need to make that guy look like an idiot. Is there something else? Is it your dad? No, I'll, I'll be fine. Just a slight headache. Anyway, how's Carrie? I haven't seen her here all week, and uh, you haven't been spending long hours on your phone, Mr. Loverboy. <laughs> I, I think I, I feel something for her. I think she still has feelings for Toby, though. He keeps lying to her in those emails. 
Telling her he'll be back for her, how they'll get married and have kids. You know, sometimes the, the way she looks at me, it's it's confusing. As if she's she's waiting on me for something. Well, maybe telling her the truth will be her redemption. At least it was you who did the punching. You know, Carrie practically walked me out, and she called me a youngie. Sam mustn't find out about this. You need to end talks with Carrie. Done. And she might try to talk to you, but don't give her any advice. I have a friend I need to protect. Okay. I, I mean, what he doesn't know won't hurt him, right? I mean, I, I just can't walk up to Sam and say, hey, Sam, bro, you know what? Your wife <laughs> is sleeping with her university sweetheart who stabbed us in the back and now is back in town for good. <laughs> okay, now you're panicking. Huh. Last time I saw you this nervous was when Crest was about to go live. It's not even our problem. Hmm? You're right, what you said this morning. So let's just... Focus on us and pray that Sam never finds out. Hmm? Oh, no. Okay. Can we go to bed now? You'd never do that to me, right? Do what? Cheat on me with another man? Well, if there's two of you, don't blame me. Funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You haven't asked me. Nope. But that cheat on you with another woman. Nope. Why? Because you cannot hurt a good woman and go scot free. Everything fights for her. And I, my darling, I'm a good woman. <laughs> <laughs> The times on social media people say gosh your skin looks really good really shiny I say thank you darling thank you but they want to know what exactly I use now everybody's gonna say use shea butter use cocoa butter I know those are good and I absolutely love them but for me me personally I am in love with oils 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 just make that ebony skin look Flawless. Now, two particular oils that I absolutely love are coconut oil and shea butter oil. I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, now it's really funny, a little story about this. Now, I was dating this guy, no names, but he was so obsessed with putting oils with everything. Like, I kept, I kept watching him and his skin looked absolutely amazing, more amazing than mine. And I kept thinking, what is he doing to make his skin look that good? And really the truth is, he would add either baby oil or shea butter oil to everything, every cream that he would use. And then I figured, you know what, I'm gonna try it. Now oils just penetrate straight into the skin. They give you a shimmer, they give you a shine. For those people who don't like being oily, maybe this is not for you or you'd want to use it in small quantities, but I guarantee you, these two oils right here, these two oils right here though, <laughs> they have amazing results. Now, when it comes to coconut oil, we've all heard of the, like, the benefits from hair to skin to even making your teeth whiter, yes. I use it in more duration though, because it, I, cause I, cause I think it is quite thick for me. Maybe crazy. Uh -huh. Oh, can't you still me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I'm